Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's on. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. He, he doesn't waste time with his head to chest, just punch. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pop. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mexicala, Russia, is from And now producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Mike's in the collar time now. Left hand punch to the clinch. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Misses with the right hand. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Checks the leg kick. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice hammer fist. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground upon as they were in the past. Hey, stop! His kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He gets caught with that one. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these. Going for a submission.
second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. Oh! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual thing. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook for all the things that happen in this position. Fantastic timing for that group to take down. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Yes. Whoa! What a fight so far! over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets out. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. What a fantastic strike. Now, DC, you know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. I don't like Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Back oh, on the that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Lee's back in half guard. All right, close guard now. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All working hard to get back up again, and he's there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. He's throwing every part of himself. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the takedown. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile. And they can do these takedowns in so many ways. You saw it in a full display right there with that trip. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You can see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. 
Ready to fight. Ready. Watch right hand is true. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got an opponent hurt very bad. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Lee. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. He's trying to recover full guard there. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Got clip with the right hand. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. He's so committed to body punching. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to change that finish down now. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the wow. ladder. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, right in the mount. I mean, how many can he take? Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop for this contest. At two minutes, 45 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on its way.